He runs one of Russia's most secretive organizations. But Sergei Narishkin agreed to meet me. The first time foreign media have been allowed inside Russia's equivalent of MI6. And he quickly took aim at America. I think some politicians in the West had false expectations. They felt like that the world could be ruled from one center, Washington. Washington. The most important lesson from the past is that if any country tries to rule the world all by itself, this will undoubtedly end in disaster. Sergei Narishkin is a close ally of Vladimir Putin. They've known each other since their KGB days. Western leaders uh, regularly accuse Russia of, of waging a, a hybrid war against the West. Uh, the European Union only uh, recently accused Russia of campaign of disinformation over coronavirus. Why is Russia doing this? Do you accept that is happening? How can they say disinformation? Russia sincerely offered to help our friend Italy fight coronavirus. We sent them equipment and hundreds of military doctors. What kind of disinformation is that? But can you understand why perhaps in the West there is a, a lack of trust uh, towards Russia at the moment when you look at some of the things that have been happening, like, like the Salisbury poisonings, that Britain believes Russia is behind? We don't trust what the British government's been saying about Salisbury. When they say it's highly likely that Russia's to blame, we're not convinced by that. And as Moscow prepares for a giant World War II victory parade on Red Square, Russia's spy chief accuses the West of downplaying his country's role in defeating Hitler. Many young people in the West and Eastern Europe think it was the USA alone that defeated Nazi Germany and liberated Europe. Such ignorance is not accidental. It's deliberate. To create the impression that everything good in the past and the present is connected with one country, America. Social distancing rules are less stringent in Russia. So what are the chances of a closer relationship between Moscow and the West? Well, Russia's foreign intelligence chief had praise for one Englishman, at least. Winston Churchill, seen here with the Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. He was shocked that Churchill's statue in London has been targeted by protesters. Churchill was a great man, a great political leader. I think it's a real shame about the statue. How can you treat your own history like that? The Russian spy who thinks the past needs guarding as much as the present. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.